Welcome to the narrow boat that James built. I hope you're very well. Thanks for joining me. Well, my first night on the boat was absolutely amazing. It was uh, really peaceful, really quiet. Um, and there's a different sound to the boat now. All of the base of the boat is on the water. Uh, it feels like the sound, kind of sound deadening on board. So that's really nice. Um, she sits so kind of steady in the water um, which is great I've been moving around loads and you just don't you don't feel it at all um, there's a tiny tiny bit of kind of motion you can kind of sense so kind of sleeping and rocking on it was just lovely uh, it was um, yeah it was really nice it wasn't rolling around at all it was just a yeah as I said like a very slightest motion um, which is uh, which is great by a long way um, the best thing about the position here is getting on and off not using that, that step ladder um, it's just it makes such a difference um, yeah it's just uh, that that was that was incredible um, and it was just yeah I, I guess there are some days like today I'm having I'm, I'm getting some uh, some some timber delivered and days like this when I was back in the car park um, going up and down the step, step ladder it was you know it's a kind of day where you kind of you feel sorry for your knees um, and uh, so it's going to make it a lot easier all I'm going to have to do is just reverse the boat a little bit back there um, load up and then bring it forward a bit so that's okay um, narrow boat hands had a bit of an accident yesterday so I'm hoping he's okay he can help me um, because I need to obviously get the batteries and stuff sorted out um, otherwise i'll just do it by hand so that'll be fun as well um but yeah so the timber is for the upper walls and um the dinette and the bed and stuff like that so that's all kind of being built this week now um i'm still sleeping on the dinette um which is not ideal because yesterday for the crane i had to put everything into the dinette all my tools and everything so now it's all about ease of access to stuff so I'd like to keep the dinette being used for what it currently is and build a bed to sleep on that um, so that's going to be my plan for the next couple of days and um, really sorting out my batteries uh, that's the next big thing is sorting out power now I'm on the uh, cut you kind of it focuses the mind as to what needs to be done straight away um, so I mean, I knew it anyway, but water, for example. Now, getting water on here is a bloody nightmare. Um, so I had to use one of my bottles for something. So I've now got, these are my two water devices. So <laughs> this carries more, so I carry the water in there and I boil it in that. Um, it's a nightmare. So clearly that doesn't work. I need to get water on. Uh, the only, I can, I can put 250 litres of water on it, that's fine, but I need to be able to pump it. So I've got a water pump, but I need my electrics to be able to work, work that now. So it's really kind of fast forwarded some of the, uh, some of the things. Um, so yeah, water is now uh, utmost priority. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. And I shouldn't have to get too much done to get it done really. Uh, it's, all, it's all in, um, I need to fill up with water. I need to buy myself a drinking water grade hose. Um, and yeah, that's gonna be pricey. Anyway, so yeah, that's the plan for today. Timber's coming at about four o'clock. Um, so I can start laying down the CLS um, and getting the framework done uh, before that comes in and I can start paneling. So that's the plan. Right, the timber's just been delivered.
Restart the engine. Throw the engine, it'll start first time. <laughs> Made my day. I kind of wish I did this yesterday. <laughs> but hey ho. I must look so graceful on that. I think this is how Sun Sea can make boats, isn't it? <laughs> Stay away, five O. I'm knackered! It just looks like the most unstable car in the whole world. See, that was Right, well I haven't progressed very well with the bed as you can clearly see, um, but uh, that's because you can hear the engine running. So uh, this is a bit of a vibration test, so I started the engine just to see if everything kind of is okay, certain kind of, yeah, just listening out for things really uh, on the boat, making sure that things are fine. I can hear quite a bit of vibration there, but that's okay. I'll have to think about something to do with that when it's navigating. Obviously it's quite noisy at the moment because the engine is exposed. So I think uh, we'll move that across. So the gear, we've got a bit of um, something to think about here. If you look here, I'll show you what I mean. So this is neutral. If I push it back a bit, that's reverse. Push it back a bit, full, bit more, and it goes into forwards again. So it's like another neutral there. Back into forwards, sorry, back into neutral, and then there's a forwards there. So, we might have to put a stopper on it. We've already moved over the position of the gear lever. Yeah, but we might have to put a stopper on it to prevent that from happening. So the plan is now to go back over there, load up with my timber. So I've got some 18 mil board over there, which I need to start cutting up and building my steps for down here. I've just taken a fall down in there, which is uh, a bit painful. I smacked my jaw on that. So um, I really need to get these boards down as quickly as I can. Um, there's all my bed and wardrobes. So yeah, we'll load up with some timber and then whilst we're heading in that direction over there without the ropes on, it seemed a bit rude not to take her out for a spin. So I think we'll take her up there, turn her around and come back. Why, anyway? No, 
Underneath your boat. We were wondering, we were talking about that this morning. Like, where did them blocks of wood go? I forgot to nail them down. Right, and then straighten up. 
screaming. Oh, yeah. You can use that as like a. Sometimes if you're coming over a bit quick, you might want and you go with a bit of throttle just to stop yourself bashing the edge. Straighten up, carry on.
a lot of fun was had today. Um, it's been a really fun day, a really good day. Being out on the boat um, was just, for its maiden trip, was brilliant. Um, there's a vibration, you'd have heard it maybe on the video, there's a, there's a noise on the tiller, uh, which we're gonna have to have a look at. It's only when I push against the tiller is when the noise happens, but we'll have to have a look at that. Uh, the engine noise is quite loud because, well, it's all exposed. There needs to be um, a housing put around it, which I will kind of get round to doing. Um, but yeah, it was fantastic being on the on the cut. Paul showing me a few techniques. Uh, I'm most likely going to enrol in some kind of pilot school because um, it's important if you're using it as much as I'm going to be using it to learn how to drive one of these things properly. Um, so um yeah i'm gonna certainly book myself into one of those but in terms of learning the basics uh paul and john um have been great uh really useful uh to, to to help me on my way um and you'd have seen how supportive they were when they were standing on the side of the bank when i was moving the cls um over on the on the dinghy so they're really good to have on side so i'm in good hands anyway until tomorrow look after yourselves bye bye